Hello, friends. This is Pastor Vern from St. Mark's coming to you with another uh, midweek devotion, not from St. Mark's this week, um, but actually from First Lutheran Church in Lexington, North Carolina. I want to give a special thanks to Pastor Matt Miller and all the good folks up at First Lutheran uh, for letting us film our midweek devotion here in their sanctuary and also behind this wall out in their courtyard where they have a mounted stations of the cross in their courtyard. This week, as we continue to journey through Holy Week, that's what our devotion is going to be. We're going to go through a service together, a Stations of the Cross service. You'll see momentarily, as soon as I finish this little snippet of today's video, you'll start to see pictures one by one. Each picture or station has a reading that goes along with it, and then a prayer. And then at the conclusion of that prayer, there is a line that I will say, and now we all say. And so I invite you to say with me, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. So I'll say a prayer, and then I'll say, and we all say, Holy God, Holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Real quick before we begin our Stations of the Cross, being that it's Holy Week and that Sunday is Easter, yay, I do want to give one announcement to everyone. A reminder that we will be putting up our flower cross in front of St. Mark's uh, towards the end of this week. And we invite everyone who has any flowers at home or who would like to go and buy a bouquet of flowers to bring some cut flowers to insert into the flower cross so that um, not only can we share the beauty of Easter and the beauty of the resurrection of Jesus with each other, but also that we could have a real pretty cross for all of us to take some pictures at. That's kind of a thing at St. Mark's that I learned last year, and it's an awesome tradition. So with that, let's take a moment to prepare our hearts and minds and enter into a journey of the Stations of the Cross together. The first station of the cross is Jesus being condemned to death. As soon as it was morning, the chief priest held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pontius Pilate. Pilate spoke to the crowd, what do you wish for me to do with this man that you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate said to the crowd, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! Crucify him! So after flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. You were the victim of unbridled injustice. Change the minds and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. Jesus, innocent though condemned, have mercy and hear us. Together we say, Holy God, Holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. The second station of the cross is Jesus taking up the cross. A reading. Carrying his cross by himself, Jesus went out to the place called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you carried the cross through the rough streets of Jerusalem. Be with those who are loaded with burdens beyond their strength. You bore the weight of our, of our sins when you carried the cross. Help us to realize the extent and the cost of your love for us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. 
the third station is the first time that Jesus falls. Hear this reading. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you fell under the weight of the cross. Be with those who cry out in physical or emotional distress. You endured abuse and shame. Be with those who face torture and mockery in our world today. Jesus, our humble Savior, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The fourth station is Jesus meeting his afflicted mother. Hear this reading. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you? O daughter of Jerusalem, what like can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, whose love is like that of a mother, as you suffer, a sword pierces the heart of your blessed mother. Comfort parents who grieve the loss of children to drugs, gangs, prison, or death. And give us strength to offer support and strength to others. Jesus, of all heart and compassion, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The fifth station is the cross laid on Simon of Cyrene. Hear this reading. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. And they compelled this man to carry the cross of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were worn down by fatigue. Be with those from whom life drains all energy. You needed the help of a passing stranger. Give us the humility to receive aid from others. Jesus, weighed down with exhaustion and in need of help, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The sixth station is a woman wiping the tears of Jesus. Hear this reading. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, as one from whom people hid their face. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastenment that made us whole, for by his stripes we are healed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you touched others with your healing presence, and your love is made known in acts of selfless compassion. Draw near to all who suffer pain, deprivation, and degradation and open our eyes to see your beauty in each person. 
Jesus, healer of our every ill, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The seventh station is Jesus falling for a second time. Hear this reading. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to their own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he did not even open his mouth. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, bearer of our sins, comfort all who stumble under life's burdens. Bless those who give of themselves for the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister to all those who suffer. Jesus, who laid down your life for us, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The eighth station is Jesus meeting the women of Jerusalem. Hear this reading. A great number of the people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the women of Jerusalem wept for you. Move us to tears at the plight of the broken in our world. You embraced the pain of Jerusalem, the city of peace. Bless Jerusalem this day and lead it to the path of profound peace. Jesus, the King of peace, who wept for the city of peace, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The ninth station is Jesus falling a third time. Hear this reading. I am one who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. God has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. God has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation and has made me sit in darkness like the dead of long ago. Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. God has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. Let us pray. Jesus, servant of all, in your humiliation, our fallen world is lifted up and rescued from the hopelessness of death. Grant perseverance to those at the limits of their mental, physical, or moral strength. And strengthen those who counseled the despairing or those contemplating suicide. Jesus, who offers hope to the hopeless, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The tenth station is Jesus being stripped of his garments. Hear this reading. When they came to a place called Golgotha, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. So the soldiers divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among them, 
and for my clothing they cast lots. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, bearing our shame, as you are stripped of your dignity, we remember all those exposed to ridicule, battered wives, victims of abuse and violence, and all that are exploited because of race, gender, or orientation. Clothe them with your mercy and bestow on them dignity that belongs to them as children of God. Jesus, whose body is for us the image of God, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The eleventh station is Jesus nailed to the cross. Hear this reading. When they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified Jesus. And with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right and one on the left. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, source of infinite life, we remember all who suffer unjustly. We mourn the ways our earth has been tortured and abused. Bring us to your cross and preserve us until the resurrection. Jesus, wounded for our broken world, have mercy and hear us. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The twelfth station is Jesus' death on the cross. Hear this reading. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your mother and your dearest friend stayed with you to the bitter end. Yet even while racked with pain, you ministered to them. Be with all broken families today and tend to those who long for companionship. You cared for your loved ones, even in your throes of death. Give us a love for one another, a love that is stronger, even than the fear of death itself. Jesus, trusting to the very end, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The thirteenth station is the body of Jesus being placed in the arms of his mother. Hear this reading. All who pass by, Behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping. My soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Do not call me Naomi, which means pleasant. Call me Mara, which means bitter. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross and entered the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who die at the hands of others. In death, you entered into the darkest place of all. Illumine our darkness with your glorious presence. O crucified Jesus, temple of God and gate of heaven, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, 
holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. The fourteenth and last station is Jesus being laid in the tomb. Hear this reading. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. Joseph went to Pontius Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Lord of life, you became as nothing for us. Be with those who feel worthless in this world's eyes. You were laid in a cold, dark tomb and hidden from sight. Be with all who suffer and die in secret, hidden from the eyes of the world. Jesus, seed planted in the earth, have mercy and hear us. Amen. And together we say, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and and hear us. Friends, as we continue to journey this holy week, I hope that this walk through the stations of the cross has been a time for you to reflect, a time for you to listen, a time for you to pray, a time for you to hear again how much Jesus loves you, a time for you to recall Christ's passion and death, the holiest events of this week, all that lay out for us the extent of God's love for us and God's not only love for us, but yearning for us to always know that God's enfleshed love in Jesus is with us today, every day, in this life, and in the hope of eternal life. I offer a closing prayer. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for your passion and death. We give you thanks as we look forward with eagerness towards the joy and wonder of Easter morning. Help us to walk in the shadow of your cross, to live as your disciples, to live as people called to love extravagantly and to serve others as you first served us. Strengthen our bodies, strengthen our minds, strengthen our souls so that all that we say and all that we do may reflect the love revealed to us in your cross and that all that we say and do may give glory to you. For we pray all this, trusting in the resurrection hope of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Friends, peace be with you this holy week, and may the peace and love of Jesus be with you today and always. Amen.